Um, alright, so today is Sunday, August the 5th, 2012. The time is 8.27 p.m. And the current temperature in Celsius is a high of 29, a low of 22, and the current temperature is 28 degrees Celsius. And for those of you who can't convert Celsius to Fahrenheit very quickly, <laughs> I'll tell you right now that that is a high of 85 degrees, a low of 72, with a current temperature of 82 degrees. And um, we had a lot of uh, great things happen today. Yep. Uh, one day. of them was uh, having our sleep interrupted oh, by yeah. a conversation between a million howler monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> I believe our day today started at approximately 4.30 a.m. Yep. And for those of you who have never been to Panama, the sun also does not rise at that point. Yeah. So it was completely darkened, but we heard the... <laughs> and... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They, they were making all different noises, and in the morning, I swore to Jen that they were having a specific conversation, which I told yeah. her about. Yeah. Uh, there was one howler monkey that I think was in mourning, mm -hmm. and then all the other howler monkeys Tragic. would, like, sympathize with it, and then the other, like, head honcho howler monkey would be like, whoa, 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 like, we're moving, we're forgetting about this howler monkey, <laughs> and then we woke up and had a whole family of howler monkeys Right in our property! It was awesome. The first time ever. It was awesome. Howler monkeys, Howler monkeys joined us for coffee. At our property, that's right. That's yep. the perk of being uh, on the same level of the canopy. Yeah. Is that you literally have like eye-to-eye -eye contact with monkeys up in yeah. the trees. It's amazing. It's, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, so and cool. we even went to our regular spot on the porch. We didn't have mm -hmm. to go like to another area of the porch. Mm -hmm. Um, Jen, like, came upstairs and was like, Sam, Sam, they're right outside! And I was like, alright, fine, I'll just wake up. <laughs> Get out of bed, it's worth it! Part of me, at first, I was like, should I wake her up? And then I was like, no, dude, they're on our property. Yeah, it's the first time we haven't gotten to someone else's property exactly. to see them. Exactly. So it was very fun to just, like, you know, be reading your book and be like, Hey, Howler Monkey. See you, Move Trees. What's up? How's it going? Up? Yeah. And one of them that, had that a, a sweet little baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. It was a great way, great day. Yeah, a great, great way, way to wake up. to start the day. Yeah. Even though we heard their conversation for like three hours. Yeah. Not right going to hold it against them. Still think they're cute. That's right. So, so. Yeah. So the Howlers are super cool. And then, um, yeah, we just spent a super low-key morning. Um, I wrote... Yeah. Letters and postcards to friends and family, um, because tomorrow, well, tonight, actually, um, a couple friends of ours went into town, they're flying back to the States, and the mailing system is not great here at Bocas. And I remember the first time of thinking, oh, that means I can't send letters and postcards for three months, and Sam's like, oh, well, maybe someone will go back to the States and we'll carry the mail for you, and I was thinking, yeah, okay, Sam, <laughs> like, that's gonna happen. But that happens. Like, on a regular basis. <laughs> Actually, on the Bocas Net in the morning, that's one of the questions that they ask is, is anyone, what does he say, flying by the does big anyone? bird? Oh, really? He, he makes some <laughs> reference that I'm... Well, I'm, I'm going to ask him one day. Okay. Tell he me, sit something. down. The I'm going to write that... down the things yeah. Captain Ron says and be like, explain to me what this means because I don't actually know. What is a toad strangler? What yes. is flying by the big bird? Yes. Oh, maybe because... An airplane. Oh, yeah, okay. That makes more sense. So anyway, we have a couple of friends going on an airplane. <laughs> the big bird. Don't know when she'll be back again. Mm -hmm. In like a uh, month. I and it's it. Janice. <laughs> Janice Joplin reference there. Anyway, so they took my mail. Janice so I was like, Joplin reference? Yeah, she wrote leaving on a jet plane. I thought that was John Denver. I mean, but Janice sang it. Oh. I'm leaving. On a jet yeah, no, I love that song. I, I sang it many, many, many a time. Yeah. I think it's Jan Janice Joplin <laughs> saying that. All right, well, we're, we'll, we'll, we'll see. look that we'll up. Find we'll, out. we'll find out. We'll let you know. We'll come back. Yep. Here you go. Uh, <laughs> yep. So I did some <laughs> Great. <laughs> What'd you do, Sam? Uh, I made a uh, banana cake. Say what? With, with what bananas? With all the bananas that we put in our freezer. They were this big, so I put a whole bunch of them, um, and the people before us left this, like, instant cake mix, so mm -hmm. I tweaked it a little. I put in... Some put bananas, in eh? Bananas. Oh, what else did you put in there? A little bit of rum and oh, chocolate. Really? Yeah, that's why it's, like, so moist. Okay, yeah. secret. Yeah. Wait, did you say chocolate? And vanilla and cinnamon. Where did you get this <laughs> chocolate, Sam? Oh, I got it from the Saruti's house. <laughs> 
Over Who are there, the Rudy's, the chocolate farmers. Oh, the next chocolate door. farmers that we talked about in our last blog. Yes, of course. Those the very same. Those are the ones. <laughs> yeah. The same ones. <laughs> we bought a whole bunch of chocolate from them, um, and we're looking forward to using it in all of our upcoming recipes. Um, and I just remember we didn't eat all of it. Yeah, not yet. Oh yeah, we. That's yep. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited. It's another moment of, okay, do we share this or do we recognize that there's just not enough to share with anybody? And just, so we shouldn't share with anybody. Yeah. <laughs> it's the mentality that we're kind of in. But tomorrow it's going to be like a coffee shop day. So That's we true. might actually share food with people that make Maybe it up the hill. It's like a reward. Yeah. If you are willing to come up our big hill, there's we great food. you with at the top. Alcohol cake. Yeah. It and doesn't taste like alcohol. Okay. Uh, oh, and I made, um, like, a soup thing mm -hmm. with rice. It was really good. Yeah. Um, and I'm trying to finish the Game of Thrones number five. Mm -hmm. I'm, like, almost at the end. And it's really good. It's, like, I wish there was someone that I could just talk to every moment of the way and be like, did you see what happened to this person? Or read, rather, what happened to this and that person. I try but, to be supportive. Oh, it's so good. Jen just hears me go, like, oh, my God! And she's like, oh, my God, was that Dolphins? And, like, runs out to the front porch. She's like, no, it's just... It's just my book. That doesn't happen. Just, <laughs> that totally happens. It never happens. <laughs> that happened today, earlier today. So, I just am not into that. Glad Sam is. I love it. <laughs> love that she's into that. Yeah. So, yeah. And That's I'm good. almost done being into that, so. Oh, no, I mean, I support it. It'd be Thanks. sweet if you, if you finish the fifth book on August 5th. Oh, just That's saying. a good idea. Isn't that today? That is today. That's right. You've got T minus... Three and a half hours. Can you do it? Depends what time zone I follow. Yes, yeah, she. <laughs> That's like a nerd answer. I love it. Depends on what time zone I'm in. <laughs> well, it's true. Actually, my homework is right on time. <laughs> <laughs> or it's the slacker answer instead of the nerd answer. Ah, uh, yes, the slacker. <laughs> Love it. Um, Sorry. Anyway, we had the most amazing experience after coming back to Rana Azul. Oh, so oh, we went yeah. to Rana Azul. It was awesome. Fun. We met a whole bunch of new people. We are no longer the new kids on the block. That's right. And We've that, been replaced. that made us realize in talking about our life. It's a lot of birds exploding. I night. think that's the bats. Bats. A lot of bats exploding <laughs> in the nighttime. I think you're right. Um. Oh, it made me realize, in talking about our life here for the last three weeks, I can't remember some of the references, but I'm just like, wow, we are on island time. <laughs> yeah. Of referencing, Someone like, oh yeah, on the Bocas Net, just la la la. Yeah. Talking about All those foods and animals. Someone was talking about their job and life back in San Francisco, and we're like, yeah. what city? Yeah. Say again? Yeah. Gosh, I can't remember the specific example, but I was just like, wow, we are islanders. And it was really cool because we have another, a new... Friend on the block that's house sitting. Mm -hmm. um, our friends that are going to the states <laughs> on the block. <laughs> oh, on the, the other block, I know, the right? Blob oh, over, yeah, over the this way. Yeah. Block, but um, yeah, referencing and just like being like, "Hey, what's up, everybody that we know and have inside jokes with?" Yeah. Ha ha ha! And I was like, "Man, we probably look so cool right now." <laughs> not that that matters, but it's well, just it's like, awesome we, because everybody that we know we is not very many people, and so they're always yes. there, and so yes. we always know everybody. So it feels yeah. really awesome. It feels like you're always going to a group mm -hmm. of friends, and you mm -hmm. always like get so warmly welcomed. Yeah, even though you might have just seen them yesterday. Mm -hmm. So it was really cool. Yeah. Really cool check-in experiences of, like, you know, referencing us to reality, really, the outside yeah. world. Not reality, because it's very much reality. Thank you very much Yeah, for all of you doubters and haters out there. We are in reality. Just a very different reality. Yeah. It's so, a reality we're going to hold on to forever. That's right. <laughs> forever. <laughs> forever and ever. So, great day at Rana's. And then, on our way home, we were greeted with some wonderful friends in the Bay. I don't know if you all know, but we live in... Dolphin Bay! Bay. And oh the reason it is God. called Dolphin's Bay is because there are dolphins. And I know that we've mentioned them before, that we've seen them from the porch. But, but we today, saw them far away. And today, today here, it was go over here. awesome. That's how far away they were. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm a dolphin. <laughs> yeah, and I'm the, I'm the observer. Hey! Crazy. It was amazing. Like, we, uh, <laughs> our neighbor came back. What? <laughs> you can't look at me. 
So our neighbor was driving us back, and then some dolphins started jumping. And then he made a circle, and the day the dolphins were <laughs> were jumping in our wake, like leaping out of the air, like it dolphins was so do, amazing. like this. Okay, so this is the water, and they like pop up. I I actually got some footage, so I'm gonna add it to Gia's yeah. vlog. Yeah. Flop. <laughs> No exaggeration, dude. They were They're jumping amazing. all over the place. They yeah. were so close by. And since we live on island time, it was completely acceptable to just spend half an awesome. hour driving around the bay and watching Seriously. these amazing, amazing dolphins and another great yeah. sunset. Um, another beautiful one. And it was so great. Like, I've never thought I would get that close to dolphins in the wild. Yeah. And there was this one point where I'm, like, leaning over the side of the boat and I'm like, can I just jump in with them? Right. Like, and I was like, there's a lot of jellyfish in there. And that was the only thing holding me back. Like, <laughs> those jellies. I, I want to learn how to swim with dolphins and if yeah. it's safe. And yeah. it, it just looked so amazing mm -hmm. to have them so close by. And I, I think I was in shock for the first little while that they were actually so close. Absolutely. And I had a moment, like, I was sitting there on the boat and I just, like, had a moment of, like, I'm falling in love with life right now. You know what I mean? Just, like, every time we have moments like that that just make you stop and mm -hmm. just completely get outside yourself and make you recognize the incredible surrounding that you're in is just pretty humbling and very, very sublime. So, I had a moment. Yeah. It was pretty awesome. I definitely had a moment with the dolphins. So, that was wonderful. And then Lori invited us back to her boat, and we went swimming with Kima with her dog. Um, again, and because we, we were so inspired by the dolphins. Yeah, we were like, we want to get in the water, yeah, of course. Even somewhere. though we were kind of far away yeah. by that point. And there weren't any jellyfish, except for giant, giant humongous. Giant moon jellyfish. Which you can grab you and. You can hold on to them. Yep. And it was Jenna's crazy. just swimming around, and she just like, I'm like, oh, oh is, you mean this? And they're literally like, they, they fall on your hand, they're this big. Yeah. All big. And they feel like, you know, jellyfish. Like Yeah. They, feel exactly how you expect them to feel. Yeah. Which are still creepy. Like, yeah. I was swimming with them and would touch one and be like, ah! And I was like, <laughs> I am to jellyfish what <laughs> Sam is to all bugs. I'm getting but better. Oh, okay. no, no, absolutely. You are yeah, getting yeah. better. But it's just funny because I, too, have that natural, like, ah! Okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's a moon jelly. Because I'm just so used to them stinging and hurting. And yep. Well, I was swimming things, with so. Kima and I, like, went to grab, like, the ball and somehow, like, like, put a jellyfish, like, under me, like, a football, and I was like, ah, oh, oh, that's a weird, weird thing, and, yeah, and then I, like, swam away, and yeah. it was all good, but, uh, yeah, so, like, he's swimming with huge jellyfish, mm -hmm. uh, hopefully next, like, in the next couple of days, we'll probably get a photo of those, too, mm -hmm. um, but just huge, like, and they don't sting, no. so you just lift them up and carry them around, and super cool, yep, and Kima's a huge pit, pit bull, bull mix, right? I don't know. She looks kind of like a mix. But yeah. She kinda, she's, I think she's a pit bull mix. She's, she's an awesome, stout. awesome dog. Huge. Huge and all Big muscle. Big dog. Every ounce of her is muscle, including her joint jaw, jowl muscles. That you're yeah. just like, you will just tear into things. Yeah. It's a good thing you're a wonderful dog. So. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. yeah, tomorrow I'll add the dolphin footage in uh, once we take a look at it. Mm -hmm. I know I got at least a couple jumps out of those mm -hmm. beautiful, beautiful creatures. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah, so we'll end up. Let's go eat the rest of that banana cake. I'm down. <laughs> Let's do it. Until tomorrow, jungle love. Jungle love. Bye.